Today, we're going to test some cheap Harbor Freight wobble extensions and see how much torque it takes to break them. And I'm going to compare these to a USA-made wobble extension. I paid $11.99 plus tax after using a coupon. These are made in Taiwan. If you're a country of origin nerd like me, you know Taiwanese products are generally better quality than Chinese products. These do look decently made. The chrome is pretty consistent and they appear well finished. There are a few nicks and scratches here and there. The knurling is pretty consistent. It's easy to see why a wobble extension would break more easily than a normal extension because it tapers down here on the drive end and that is what allows the socket to wobble around. Before doing this test, I decided to estimate what I thought one of these 3 8 extensions could handle. I thought long and hard about the material properties, and then I just totally made up a number. I completely guessed. My guess was 60 pound-feet, and boy, was I wrong. So here's how I decided to do this. I have a breaker bar here, an adapter, the extension. This is not one of the wobble extensions, but just to show you what I'm doing. Another adapter here, and that all leads into the torque adapter, which shows us how much torque is being applied. This torque adapter is a really interesting tool that I've used for checking torque wrenches and other projects. Now stop, before you complain and say, that's not scientific, the sample size is too small and there are too many variables. You're right, but I'm not claiming this is a science lab. This is a test in my garage for fun, but there are still some things we can learn from this. I had a camera malfunction on the first test. The swivel base on my vise kept moving, making it difficult. The extension ultimately failed at 120 pound-feet of torque, so that's double my uneducated guess. I was really surprised. I performed some minor surgery on my cheap vise to convert it to a fixed base and then continued on. This extension broke at 130 pound-feet, even more than the first. The third one broke at almost the exact same torque, 130.1 pound-feet. Here's the US-made extension. It's Allen brand. It was made by the same company that produced the USA-made Craftsman tools, KD, Armstrong, and others. The company, Apex Tools, still exists, but they don't make much in the USA anymore. This test did not turn out as cleanly as I had hoped. I'll show you what happened. I got up to 146.4 pound-feet, then I had to stop and reposition myself. Then the extension ultimately broke at 140.6 pound-feet. What I think happened is it was just starting to fail when I had to stop and reposition myself. It was weakened after that, so it failed at 140 pound-feet. If I had kept going on the first pull, I think it would have broken just a moment later. So here's why these numbers are impressive. An average 3 8 inch ratchet has a lever arm that's about 7 inches long. 120 pound-feet is the equivalent of putting 200 pounds on this ratchet. You can reach that by hand, but it's not that easy. So even though this was not a perfect test, what did we learn? Well, these Harbor Freight extensions handled way more torque than I was expecting. 120 to 130 pound-feet is a good bit of torque. But even this moderately priced USA-made extension was stronger. So, should you buy the Harbor Freight extensions? Well, based on how they performed and the price, they seem like a good value. But if you want the strongest wobble extension you can get, you're going to have to get a different brand and spend more money. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button down below and subscribe so you can see my new videos when they come out. So now I have to try to figure out how to get the broken pieces out of all these adapters.